I mean, yeah, it's Halloween, but I am not trying to look like a ghost on an everyday basis. Subscribe if you use ha- <laughs> Struggle. Hi, everybody. Or, I feel weird saying everybody because I usually say hi, guys. Anyway. Um, hi, everybody. Hi, you guys. Um... Thank you so much for coming back. Today I have a uh, review on the Mary Kay Translucent Powder. Now this setting powder is $16 and you get 0.39 ounces. So I mean you get a pretty good amount of powder here. It comes in a plastic um, container with a plastic lid. You unscrew the top and you see a white powder. It's got these little, this, this cool top where you can twist it. I don't know if you can hear this. Did you hear that? You can twist it and it locks the little, the little opening so um, you don't get, like if you're traveling, you can lock this, put it in your bag, and you're, when you open it, you're not gonna have a ton of powder all over the place. So this uh, Mary Kay powder is, like I said, it's white. Um, and being a lady that's permatan, I w had my reservations about this powder because, you know, I'm not trying to look like a ghost. So, um, I was hesitant to try this, but it's a setting powder and I wanted a setting powder, you know, to do under, set my concealer under my eyes. I had heard great things about it and I wanted to test it out for myself. Um, it does work well to set. As an overall powder, I actually found it kind of made me a little bit oilier than normal. Yeah, my nose is, my nose is what got a little bit um, oilier than normal. And so, but I found that under the eyes, it worked really, really well. It is a setting powder, so whatever you are setting, um, sometimes I'll do foundation under my eye, and then sometimes it'll go, I have like this one crease here, it'll go into my crease, so before setting, I make sure that I pat that out, so I don't have any, like, so I don't have any foundation or concealer in those, you know, fine lines and wrinkles <laughs> and then once I do that then I set and I'm good to go there will not be any creasing at least um, that's my experience and that's on my skin I do not have oily eyelids I do not have oily under eye area so there you go so you can just grab a little bit from the lid shake the excess off and then do the required I'm doing something under my eyeballs face <laughs> and then just uh, pat it on and that will set your concealer your foundation um, and if you use a tiny little bit which is really what you need you are not going to get a white cast or you know um, what I like to call ghost face. <laughs> um, I personally like it as a setting uh, powder, you know, just for certain, for specific areas of my face. I think if you are fair skinned or even, you know, lighter skin tone than me, you could probably get away with doing it all over your face. If I don't wear too much, I can get away with doing it all over my face. But I just, uh, I don't know. I'm weary of it. <laughs> I don't know why, because it really does disappear into your skin, but I don't know. <sighs> you know, I just, I prefer it as a setting powder, and that's that. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, but only if you liked it. And yeah, I hope you have a great day. I hope that you are enjoying the fall because I am. I'll show you, I'll take a picture of my view right now. It is pretty awesome. Pretty awesome if I say so myself. <laughs> anyway, have a great day and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.